Welcome again to all our viewers right around the world. This is AirSideTV.com's coverage of AirVenture 2003, celebrating 100 years of powered flight here at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm Paul Brennan. With me again is Arturo White. And Arturo, behind us, uh, an absolute classic. A beauty of a kind. Uh, that's a Stratoliner, an aircraft I've been waiting for since the arrival here at Oshkosh. Flying in today, all heads turned towards the runway and we saw it come in and stop and right behind us and it's just a spectacular aircraft and one I've again I've been waiting for it since I got here at Oshkosh. We've got some great footage of the arrival of this airliner also we're going to be taking you through the cabin and showing how they used to travel in style back in the 40s. Definitely not a glass cockpit of any kind I mean you really had to work to fly this airplane but again that's the beauty of it and what a sight to see it and you know I actually had to go to the restoration process two times unfortunately after the incident in Seattle so uh, I think they did a spectacular job and we're fortunate to see this aircraft on his final leg before going to the Smithsonian, which of course all our viewers are familiar with. This is not the only aircraft we'll be taking a close look at. Try a flying hospital. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but it, you, we do have one here on the Air Venture grounds. It's the Orbis DC-10. And this is a flying medical facility, actually a teaching facility, if you will, for those uh, eye surgeons around the globe that need to uh, maybe uh, practice some new techniques. This is a, uh, a flying facility to go to different countries and actually bring medical doctors on board and to do all kinds of procedures. They've got a conference room, they've got an operating table, all kinds of things. We're going to take a look at those things as well as the cockpit where we interviewed the chairman of the organization as well as the captain of flew the aircraft in here today. And for those airliner buffs out there, you'll be interested to know that uh, I'm reliably informed as a second DC-10 off the production line used to belong to a Mr. Freddie Laker. Oh yes, that name rings the bell, isn't it? Freddie Laker had an airliner a few years ago. Well, now that aircraft is flying around the world and I think serving a fantastic mission. And uh, one thing that really struck me about the Orbis people is their enthusiasm and their, pa their passion for what they're doing. Well, the chairman made it very clear when he chatted with us, he, he really is so proud of the mission and, and bringing sight to those people that are uh, that come on board the aircraft without any sight and leave virtually, you know, with a whole different perspective on life. It's just absolutely life. And, and all in countries uh, of the world where there is really no medical care at all. Exactly. And, and aviation in this case is proving to be the only method to to make all this happen. Uh, and again, in the whole theme of centen centennial flight. You know, it's not just about airplanes flying and, and making records and all that. It's about providing vital services in regions of the world where you just couldn't provide that normally. Now, uh, that's not the only uh, um, uh, flying or um, aircraft footage we'll be uh, showing on day two highlights. For the Mustang fans out there, boy, we got something. Talk about a dozen Mustangs in a row doing run-ups and then taking off and doing flybys. You couldn't ask for that. Normally, you wouldn't see that air show. Of course, Oshkosh is the only place that you'll see that kind of coverage, and we've got you covered in that sense. We're going to be bringing uh, our viewers some historic footage, too, previewing the uh, the Air National Tour. Yeah, they made an announcement today uh, regarding the pilots will be flying a, a group of aircraft around the country, recreating the uh, National Air Tours of the 30s. And so we're going to actually have an interview with Greg Herrick, who's the president of the organization. That's later on in the week. In the meantime, though, we invite you to look at some of the uh, video uh, that covers some of the history organization and recreating some of the things they'll be doing this year. And we want to remind everybody that if you want to see this coverage of Air Venture 2003, you have to, okay, it's, it, it's $10, but it's $10 well spent. It helps us provide the coverage that I'm sure you're coming to expect from SITV.com. It's a simple process. All you do is uh, register on the home page uh, and, and fill out the, uh, the, the fields. It's a two or three step process. Absolutely simple. And once you're in, you can view our hour-long highlights packages daily, which includes everything and more that we've just been talking about. And uh, uh, it means that you'll be, in a virtual sense, at this great air show. Well, speaking of virtual, we can't forget about another incentive to sign on for that $10 special value. You. That's a but wait, there's more. Exactly. Wait, there's more. There's a chance to win one of ten Microsoft FS 2004 games just released on Monday. We've got a box full here. We're going to hand some of them out to the, to, to the first group of people to sign up. And we've got some names we're going to pick out tomorrow along with the group that designed the uh, software game. And that's the Microsoft team itself. We'll be with them tomorrow. And they'll pick the names out. We're going to announce them on the air. And then we'll ship them immediately. And that'll be in the day three highlights package. So get set. Uh, are you ready? For day two from AirVenture 2003, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The stream of arrivals and departures continue from Whitman Regional Airport as we begin the second day of AirSideTV.com's AirVenture coverage. This constant level of traffic, both above and on the airport property, makes Whitman one of the world's busiest airports during this annual event.
Heads turned as the eye-catching Boeing 307 Stratoliner touched down on Whitman's runway 18. 